Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. If men started hiding their nipples the way women did, do you think eventually women would be conditioned to start becoming sexually aroused at the sight of a man's breasts? Why or why not? We already cover our dicks, and women don't like to see those randomly. I think the problem is the weepers RTO of the unwelcome, surprise dick. Men will just weaponize their nipples. Imagine the locker rooms, guys will be hanging towels on their nipples and swinging them around. Victorian lady who shows ankle. Society, whore of Babelo. Thanks, looked for this before posting. If ankles were sexy back in the day because showing them off was taboo then pretty much anything can be sexualized. Did the same, just like hiding a safe hand it can become sexualized if it is always covered in public. Women are already turned on by men's pecs. Even nipples for some. People are just turned on by the bodies of people they find attractive in general. Men aren't only attracted to women's breasts because it's taboo for them to be shown in public. I'm one of the nipple attracted women haha, love to see and play with them, and seriously I sometimes watch the nipple show I get in summer. Would also be attracted to female nipples though so it would be nice if nobody had to wear a shirt. The place I live people fought for the right for women to go around topless for many years and then when they won literally nobody went shirtless I'm pretty sure people just forgot it's legal. Now introducing the BRO. Guys are you tired of wearing shirts that reveal too much and doesn't give you any support? Well not anymore because we got the BRO. A cotton fiber, lightweight flex wire chest support. It's snug and will make you feel secure. Come into Brooks Brothers today. Our staff will measure your chest, back and shoulders to get you the perfect BRO. Now when you see her in a bra you can show her your BRO. Please, you'll never compete against my company and our bra. I see your bra and I raise you a bra. I might be wrong but isn't a man's torso already one of the more visually stimulating things for women about men? Yes. Assuming you are referring to the cuts that a lean man's the torso makes around the toros and where the legs meet at the waistline. Dude, as a woman, I love seeing a guy's chest. I totally agree with this. Chests are sexy on anybody. Even a guy with little to no chest muscle. Well then let me tell you about my chest. It's made out of wood and I keep my linens in it. Go on. Do women not like pecs? I'm a gay guy and most of us love the chest forward slash pecs. Women do in fact love pecs. I have no idea what op is on about lol. I mean, of course you'd get aroused if you saw Chris Hemsworth shirtless in front of you, but I don't think you would if some regular looking guy took off his shirt. Most straight men, however, would get at least a bit turned on by regular tits. LOL all the dudes saying number. My girlfriend gleefully exchanges pics of her boobs for pics of my pecs. Ask women what they like don't just assume. This is why you have AGF. Can confirm, you forward slash Zaki Blue SGF sends the best boob pics. Yeah probably. But then they'd make laws about keeping your shirt on as a man and my brother, I am not down to hide my hairy titties. In many states it is legal for women to go in public without a top. Thanks for that knowledge you forward slash pm underscore me underscore yours underscore titties. Of course you forward slash pm underscore me underscore yours underscore titties would have this knowledge. Well now that you mention it that would be possible. On the other hand if women stopped doing this men could possibly stop getting aroused at female breasts. Maybe to some degree, but I see legs all the time and I still find them arousing. Removed. Yeah there are communities forward slash tribes where female toplessness is commonplace and I think I remember hearing somewhere that in these communities the men aren't aroused by female breasts at all. Yeah I remember an interview of some kind where an American woman tells an African woman that in America men are attracted to breasts, and the African woman laughs and basically says those are for babies. Really. I remember reading the level of male arousal was less than American men, but not zero. Yeah, nudity isn't that big a deal when it's not given attention forward slash intention. Like drawing a nude model isn't arousing, at most your first few minutes, it's just an interesting form. Male, female, vase, teapot, whatever. Pretty much. The first time I went to a clothing optional bathhouse I was super worried I'd be visibly aroused. Maybe at first glance when I first arrived on my first time. After that. Turns out that nudity in non-sexual settings isn't particularly sexual. Imagine that. 
just a bunch of men and women relaxing comfortably. Bold of you to assume my man's nipples don't sexually arouse me. The vast majority of humans are very horny creatures, and as an asexual I do not say that likely, so judging from what I've seen of most of humanity it wouldn't even take hiding them for women to become aroused at something like that. Some humans get aroused at parts of the body you wouldn't even think of and I bet you at least some of these spots are not covered up the majority of the time. So answer TL, doctor answer, probably wouldn't change too much. I have two friends with fetishes as well, one a hand fetish and one a clothing fetish. Neither are particularly hidden from public. I suppose it varies from person to person but humans have a way to sexualize forward slash set boundaries on what body parts or other are attractive vs unattractive. Is the guy with the hand fetish some sort of serial killer? Just asking. Finally, the logical answer. It only took us about three hours and an asexual for the logical answer. We did it boys. I've seen no mention of this throughout the thread so I just wanted to add my two cents. Breast size, notably the increased size of breasts in human females, is a result of what is known as a sexually selected tray. Essentially, biologists do not believe that breast size serves a real function beyond attracting a mate. This is believed to be tied into another sexually selected tray which happens to be tied into an actual physical process, waist size. The larger a waist is on a woman the more attractive she will present herself to the common male. When humans first began differentiating from apes, there was a time when our heads, skulls, rapidly grew over hundreds of generations to facilitate our enormous hominid brain size. Mortality of babies skyrocketed and to compensate, only women with larger forward slash wider hips were able to give natural birth and survive to nurse the child. This eventually became ingrained in mate selection, as genetic material could only be passed on for ape forward slash hominids with wide hips. As males began to grow an ingrained, genetic attraction to this physical feature, a side effect of large breasts in females is believed to have either coincided with, or followed this event. The curvature of a woman's hips is proven, on modern day brain scans, to elicit an emotional forward slash hormonal response in the minds of men. This response is so strong, in fact that even a photo of a single line curved in the shape of a woman's body is enough to light up this very region of the brain. You may see where this is going. Due to the necessary sexual tray of having a wide waist, which produced physical curves beyond that of their ape predecessors, large breasts are believed to have been a side effect of the very same genetics. To reiterate, there is no physical benefit to having large breasts, outside of mate selection, and there are even detriments to the body which occur when they get too large. In conclusion, I do not believe women would become conditioned to become sexually aroused by the sight of a man's nipples. Not due to a physical forward slash genetic reason, anyway. Rather, if this ever happened, the attraction would come solely from the taboo nature of covered body parts. Similar to how showing a woman's ankles was considered lewd in much of the world's history, I'm sure you'd get a rise out of an ankle during that time solely because it was a pretty special thing to see. No one's going to read this anyway but I wanted to leave my thoughts. That was thoroughly interesting to read holy shit. It looks like you're using waist and hips interchangeably, generally men prefer a small waist and large hips. The ideal waist hip ratio is 70% in cultures around the world. Most guys answering this question are or teens or people who have never talked to a girl. Women's already get aroused by chests, it's nothing new. And they don't have to be muscular to be attractive. Thank fuck for that because I am not. But Op didn't say chests, he said nipples, just the nipple. I know Orphies, but I think many women already are if you happen to be hitting the gym on a regular basis. But men like a good booby even if you haven't been hitting the gym. I think Op want men to wear bras or peck holsters, patent pending. A little but men are biologically attracted to them because they are signs of a good mate, similar to birds that show off colors. This. We're biologically hardwired to desire useful traits. Strength, muscles, and the like for men, big breasts, childbearing hips, and such for women. But I think there would be an attraction eventually. Not in a biological sense, but rather a perversion to desire that which is taboo. Big breasts don't give women any reproductive advantage. When it comes to breastfeeding, women with smaller breasts usually have an easier time. The only thing boobs might signify are adequate estrogen levels, and small boobs suffice there too. And I have big boobs, so I'm not saying this out of envy or something either. 
I did read somewhere that breasts might have encouraged face-to-face -face copulation, which in turn might have sparked greater intimacy and bonding during sex, which then led homo sapiens to form pair bonds. So maybe big, j, boobs do serve some evolutionary purpose. Edited to say that I don't know why I waded into this conversation, but it's interesting the only comment I've made that's ever gotten so many upbotties was about boobs. Also I'm not even sure my comment is all that relevant. For the record, I think op is on the right track and that a, sexual attractiveness is at least partly culturally determined and b, making something taboo does seem to make it more sexually attractive generally which raises a whole bunch of other questions.